Uh, so uh, welcome uh, everybody to our session, which is called Enjoy Creating, Executing and Enabling Tests Using TMT, uh, which is a tool we've been working on uh, for about almost an uh, almost a year. Um, uh, here we are, Miro, uh, me, Petr and Pavel Valana, and we will guide you through this presentation. Uh, let's see if it works. Okay. So the agenda for today, uh, we would like to give uh, some short introduction, uh, really, really very short, brief introduction, and then spend uh, most of the time with examples, give you some real life examples, some more examples, then a bit of theory so that you understand uh, some uh, the a little bit the details uh, what is what is under the hood, and then uh, even more examples. Uh, then some overview of CR infrastructure status, uh, some information about how you can get involved uh, and give some space for questions. Uh, and we encourage you anytime you have question, uh, anytime there is anything uh, you don't understand, you want to uh, get, uh, get explained or whatever, uh, please just jump in and ask us. It can be on the chat or even, uh, even audio. And I just want to remind that tomorrow we will have also a workshop if you would like to get some hands-on experience with TNT. So uh, we start with the introduction. So my name is Petr Sprichal. I'm from the operating system CI. Uh, <clears throat> I, work, I work at Red Hat. I love to improve tooling processes uh, so that they are uh, so that they are efficient, elegant, and uh, good. Uh, and so that one can enjoy enjoy them to use. Give her to Miro for a while. Yeah, hello everyone, I'm Miro Vatkerti. I work for Testing Farm team and also from Red Hat. And I have been involved in uh, CI uh, or have been involved in creating CI uh, for uh, for the next couple of years. Yeah, and I give word to Pavel. Hello, my name is Pavel Valena. Uh, I work in Red Hat uh, in the Ruby maintenance team and we mostly try to push our uh, work uh, upstream into Fedora and that's our uh, daily part of it. But uh, there's uh, GitHub uh, as a forefront, but there's no Fedora there. So this is a crossover for me. Okay, uh, so thanks, Pavel. And now uh, we continue, uh, we start with why. So uh, where we started, why we uh, started to uh, work on this on this project. At the beginning, there were a couple of stories uh, and here I uh, picked some of the, the, the most important ones. As a developer or tester, I want, to, I want an easy way how to contribute tests uh, because um, finding out how, how tests should be configured, how the test has to be, has to be created, how the syntax is, and all, all that can be uh, very complex and is sometimes complex. Uh, second one, uh, as a developer tester, I want to easily run tests in my preferred environment. So usually uh, people have different preferences. Someone uh, prefers to run uh, tests very quickly on local host, someone in a container, someone in a virtual machine. We wanted to provide uh, all of this flexibility. Uh, I want to easily reproduce issue revealed by the testing tool. It happens that in the CI there is a problem. You want to debug, you want to see where the problem was, but uh, it's difficult to reproduce the same environment in, in the same way. Um, so TMT is looking uh, also into this to make this consistent. Uh, and um, the last two have more flexible test execution metadata stored at a single place. We were uh, fighting uh, with this a little bit uh, inside Red Hat uh, because we have scattered metadata on several places. Something is Git and different Git in the test case management system, and we wanted to have some everything on one place, uh, ideally in Git, and uh, edit, that it should be human friendly, unified, and concise. So I jumped next and give a very uh, high level overview, like uh, about, about the plan. So um, we had this uh, <clears throat> presentation last year on Flock, and because we received a positive feedback for, for the proposed, uh, for, for the idea, how, how to use this, how to improve this configuration, how to make it more simpler. Uh, so uh, here is uh, where we are. So 
first, as I mentioned, we would we want to store all test execution metadata at one place in a plain text, human readable and versioned. And uh, the best place for it seems to be Git. Uh, we would like to, uh, to prevent any external dependencies, for example, test case management system. Uh, we want to use uh, an efficient format to store this configuration uh, in order to prevent the duplication. Uh, because if you have like hundreds of tests, there are some common data you don't want to duplicate uh, in the plain text files uh, again and again. So we used FMF, flex, uh, FMF, which is a flexible metadata format, basically YAML plus a hierarchy and inheritance elasticity. We will, uh, I will be telling something about the features later. Uh, so that is uh, that is done and the tool is there. It's, it's a tool in Fedora and it works. We wanted to uh, have a clear specification which would describe how the things should work. And we uh, dedicated quite some time to uh, design this well. Uh, so here on the link, you can you can click and see the metadata specification, which shows, uh, which shows some details about it. Uh, we are constantly working on that. And then the next step is the TMT tool. So to have something for users so that they are able to very easily create new tests, execute them on, on your laptop, debug them, enable them in the CI and, and generally maintain them. And uh, so here we are, we have the TMT tool, some proof of concept, uh, uh, and we want to share it with, with you and, and get a feedback. And the next steps, uh, we want to enable this uh, consistent configuration uh, on several places across products for testing on GitHub. We already have something there. For testing RHEL, we have something uh, internally for Fedora. We are uh, working on that to make the pipeline available and for CentOS and maybe more. And uh, I think that was enough uh, enough uh, theory and the start. So let's uh, let's see um, the first steps. So if you start uh, working, uh, if you want to start working with TMT, you just install it. Uh, there is a package in Fedora, so just DNF install TMT. There are some options. Uh, the TMT is a minimal package, which has some, some basic, the core functionality, uh, but uh, because the provisioners have some like large set of dependencies, there are sub packages. So if you want to run tests in container, you would install TMT provision container. If you would like to test under virtual machine, you would install TMT provision virtual. And the TMT all, it's a special sub package which depends on everything. So you, you get everything which we, which we currently have. Okay, mm. so uh, let's see. So far the sound is okay. Can you hear me? No problem. Okay, fine. So uh, the first command, the shortest one, as I promised, I will be giving a lot of examples. So TMT. Uh, if you uh, enter a repository where you have metadata or already stored, you can run TMT and it would, uh, it would look around and tell you what's, uh, what's available in the repository. So here we see, I'm testing on the TMT because we have a lot of metadata here. There are uh, almost 30 tests, uh, around 20 plans and 140 stories. So that's... Um, the first thing you, you 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 would do when you come to a repository to check what's what's there. Now to get a very quick start with your component, uh, there is this init uh, command, which uh, does the basic initialization and it has templates. So if you are starting uh, with uh, with your component, you would like to enable some basic small test. The only thing you need to do is to enter your Git repo. Uh, make this init initialization and you you have started. So uh, I will show how this could work for you. So uh, I create something like let's say this is this is a new repository and there's nothing here and I do TMT init minus T mini. So what would happen? <clears throat> uh, here, here you see uh, there was a directory created, uh, the template called mini was used and this, uh, this file was created. So you see there's directory plans and there is example plan. Uh, this is intentionally very short because we wanted uh, the simple use case uh, very short. So uh, that's what uh, I'm showing here. Uh, that was one of the motivation. 
if you start with testing, you don't want to learn much stuff. You just want to make something working. So this is uh, the simple, uh, simple config how to enable testing. Uh, this basic smoke test and the summary part is uh, optional. So these two lines uh, are the minimal config. So if you create a file uh, like this, execute uh, colon and script tmt minus minus help uh, works should 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 just should, should just work. So here, if I uh, if I uh, look around tmt, it says there's there's one plan. Uh, now. Um, if you want to run, again, very common use case, we wanted this way. If you come to a repository, everything is configured and prepared, you would like to run the test. It should be super simple to run it. So TMT run is all what you need to do. So let's see what will happen. I see like it might be a little bit slow because this is uh, by default running tests in a virtual machine to make make it safe and uh, make sure that your uh, that your machine is not affected or broken by by some destructive destructive tests so uh here uh, you see uh, a virtual machine is booting uh i have the uh we are using the test cloud uh python test cloud from the fedora qa guys uh, which takes care of uh, fetching fetching the, the images when they are needed, and uh, then uh, firing up the, the VM. Uh, this is done uh, through, through Libvirt. So uh, it seems like the video is taking uh, some part of my machine, and this is, this is getting quite slow. I will be continuing, and uh, if, then... If I, if I may, when we are waiting, a uh, shameless plug, uh, well, when uh, the Vagrant plugin is uh, finished, uh, converting to dynamic API, uh, you'll be able to use like everything that Vagrant supports for your provision as well. So mm -hmm. There are fine, fine. multiple yeah, yeah. plugins you can use for virtualization. Super, super. Thanks, thanks for the note, uh, Pavel. So here we see uh, everything went well. You see the you had the, the impression how, how the how the steps might be work. You see that there's some discover provision, prepare, execute, report, and finish. And we see there's uh, there's an error. Uh, and we are uh, like, what what happened? Uh, I would like to see what what happened. And now you see, uh, oh, I could I could run the job once more with more verbosity. But that would take another uh, minute or two. Uh, but what we can do is uh, just give me give me the results from the last from the last last round. So TMT run minus minus last. Uh, give me a report. If you see report, it would be uh, like this, very uh, very uh, concise. But if you are interested in some more details, you can add some more verbosity to it. So you see, this is. Uh, this is the log where you could uh, have a look at, at the log. And here is uh, on the third level, uh, sorry, on the third level, there would be uh, there would be the complete output uh, where you see like the TMT, there is no such file directory. So uh, of course, this does not work because uh, it's, a, it's a clean virtual machine and uh, and the uh, command is not installed there. So let's uh, let's change this for I don't know by bash version and and this this would uh, something like that would work but because it's slow I, I would skip it for now so let's jump uh, let's jump forward uh, minus minus help is your friend so if you don't know any uh, if you want to know some more details about about any of the subcommands the TMT provides just use minus minus help so here uh, I'm giving a TMT run. So for running tests, TMT run minus minus help uh, would give you uh, the detailed description about the options. And here are, is also the list of available commands. So what are these commands for? Uh, they describe the steps. As you've seen already, there are several steps uh, which, which go when you run tests. The first one is discover. It is used for gathering information about test cases to be executed. The second one is provision. It prepares the, the environment, the guest, the, the VM, the container, or uses localhost. Then there's the third one, it's prepare. 
prepare uh, prepares the environment for testing, installing some packages, starting services, and such stuff. Then you execute tests, uh, then you report results, and you finish. And we wanted for each of these steps to have multiple implementations. Uh, there are some additional commands like logging, which provides user with interactive shop on the guest so that you can debug, and plans and tests, which can be used for selecting plans to be uh, run and tests, which should be run. And if you are uh, interested in more details about some of the some of the methods, uh, some of the plugins, so you do uh, of the steps. Sorry, TMT run provision minus minus help. So uh, the same thing, uh, provision minus minus help would give you uh, information about the provisioning options. And here we see uh, what's what's available. Uh, we can connect to a provision guest. We can use local uh, local host. We can use one minute backend. We can use a container or virtual machine. And again, uh, if you want to know some more, uh, you can say, uh, I would be interested how uh, virtual options, uh, what virtual options are available. So here you see the options. And also at the top, you can see some uh, examples for inspiration, how to write the configuration uh, in the plan. But we, we will get to that. So that's uh, that's the example with the minus minus how virtual. So if you specify the uh, the particular method, you would get some more information. Okay, so that was the the simple uh, the simple uh, way, the most uh, simple example. And now let's look on TMT run, what uh, this subcommand can do and what options we have. So as I mentioned, uh, the first step is called discover. Discover step is used for gathering the tests, which will be run, and it covers one of the user scenarios. Please just tell me what would be run. I don't want to run the test, but just, just tell me what will happen. So uh, if I go, uh, let's, let's, let's have something more interesting. TMT run discover in the TMT repo. And you would see, you would see uh, what, uh, what are the plans there and what are the tests discovered and uh, and that happens for all the other plans for all the plans now you can select a particular plan so tmt run discover plan name plans basic would give you for that one and uh, you can also enable verbosity to see some some, some more details so here I, I could say plan name plan name plans basic let's say and uh, i i would do some more verbosity so uh, <clears throat> you would see, you would see for that uh, the list of tests which, which go, which go like this. So that would be for the discover step. Uh, the next one is provision. Uh, in the previous example, we selected a step, which means that selected step would be would be run. But here uh, we see apply the option minus minus all, which means run all steps but modify some. So here. Uh, what we have here is uh, I would like to run all steps, but I would like to modify the default provision, which is virtual, and instead uh, use uh, use a container for that. So uh, let's let's try. With, I have a smoke test here, and I would uh, so let's uh, let's try to run planning smoke, and we will be running all or minus a, and the provision would be container. So minus minus how or minus h container. Uh, so this is this is how the smoke test will go. It, you see the provision is done in container. It's much faster. The test works there because I have prepared the container with with TMT already. So it so it works like that. Um, so that's about choosing container. You can specify the image by default. The latest Fedora is used. Now, uh, virtual, as I mentioned, TMT run uh, by default runs in VM to make it to make it safe. Uh, but the plan, the configuration can change that. You can, but from the command line, you can override the configuration. So if you have like uh, like me, uh, because I want to I want to test uh, quickly, I have provision local set. Uh, so one uh, once you need to, you can you can override this default from from the command line. And again, specify the image. Uh, 
using a running test local machine, a very, very, basically very the same thing. Just just be aware that if the test is not safe, uh, you can you can break your stuff. So TMT uh, smoke, uh, I would say run on local machine. So it would do it would do run, run the smoke uh, completely on the local machine. Fine. Uh, so that's about local. Uh, we have a connect plugin which allows you to connect to an already running guest, either with a private key or a login and password. And uh, that would be it. Uh, and I mentioned also one minute, but that's that's available only for uh, for those who have the one minute backend available. Now let's see some <clears throat> sorry uh, some examples for the prepare step. Uh, any questions so far? Everything is working. I'm answering yes. everything on the chat, so everything fine. Okay. Uh, so for the prepare step, uh, it's quite frequent or quite common that you you need to install uh, packages on the system under test. So uh, we have a plugin, uh, plugin install, which is uh, for now able to prepare the machine by installing packages from the, from the default repositories. You would do just tmt run minus minus or prepare uh, how install and package, for example, HTTPD. You can uh, enable a copy repository and install the package from there. You can also uh, you can also build a fresh fresh RPMs which are uh, like local. So let's see, uh, I can do make RPM that will create uh, uh, that will create uh, RPMs locally, and I could do uh, installing these RPMs uh, inside the container so that so that there is everything so that there is everything fresh. So uh, the previous the previous stuff which which I did uh, was uh, running locally uh, and then the container and I could do uh, prepare uh, minus how is install and uh, now I see that the for example the TMT package is here so I can provide the I can provide the I can provide the, the full path. And uh, if everything goes well, it will be provisioned. Then there's a prepper prepare. It it runs the install. Now something happens. Uh, if you are interested in more, you can enable the verbose output or debug output. Verbose is basically for users. If you want to uh, see some more details, which are usually useful for for those who who run uh, who run the tests and the debug output. Is uh, is usually useful for those who who want to run, debug the problems. So here you see <clears throat> it went well. One package was installed and reinstalled uh, because just to make sure that the, the latest version is there. And you could do also to install all RPMs from a, from a directory, from a directory. So just uh, it will take some time, by, but I can do it like this. You can do install from the directory, and let's be a little bit more verbose now so that we see what happened, what's happening under the hood. <clears throat> so again, it, it will take some time. It discovers what's available. It provisions and does the preparation. Here you here you see that the, the RPMs are copied, and uh, then uh, they will be uh, they will be all of them will be installed. And reinstall because there was no. Uh, it, it's not possible in the end to like do the reinstall in like one step. So that that's about install. We also have Ansible. So uh, as you would expect, if you provide an Ansible playbook, you can uh, apply it on the on the guest so that it's prepared for testing. And we have also a shell method uh, which allows you to like run arbitrary arbitrary shell commands there. So I guess that would be about about prepare. And now I would um, jump to the report step. So here, uh, as I already, uh, you, you, get, you got already some glimpse of how, how this could work. So uh, the report step is used for um, giving uh, an overview of, of, of the results. So for example, uh, <clears throat> let's, let's, let's see this. So I run TMT run plan name plans helps. Uh, so here we see everything went Everything went well, and the packages have, uh, have been installed. Uh, now let's see TMT run plan name uh, plan helps. 
and let's uh, so if I if I run it, you see uh, that you would you would uh, you would be given just uh, an overview. So like it's executed, it um, it says like four tests executed. But I would like to see uh, see more. So TMT TMT run last report would give you uh, just the just the overview. But you can uh, you can force to provide some uh, some more variables output. So uh, here with minus uh, v and you. We need to do force uh, at least for now. We can improve that in, in the future. But uh, with the minus v, you would you would see uh, the uh, the results of individual tests. With the uh, uh, with two v's, you would see for each test uh, a link to the log, so that you can uh, inspect it and and see if there is a fail. So then you can see what would happen there, or you can provide three uh, like level three variables, and you see the whole output uh, immediately. And so that would be about the examples, the first bunch of examples, and now a little bit of theory. So, uh, what is FMF? Uh, we chose or we invented FMF uh, to store metadata in plain text files uh, so that everything is in Git. It's close to the test code, test the source code. Uh, it's basically YAML, but we've added a couple of features. One is a hierarchy. Um, in addition to, to the possibility to have files in the, in the file system hierarchy, there is a virtual hierarchy which can be in the in the files. Uh, there is implemented inheritance, so you can define a value, a key, up in the in the hierarchy, and it will be inherited. And elasticity. Uh, I will show the example that would be that would be probably better. So here's the link for the project. So we started the simple use case. It should be simple, uh, and so so this is how it works. Uh, it looks like basic YAML. Uh, you have a key value, key value, key value, key value, key value, and that's that's about it. But uh, the hierarchy, as I uh, as I mentioned, you can provide a virtual hierarchy uh, directly in a single file. So if you have a couple of tests, just a couple of tests, you can have a single file and everything defined there. Uh, but uh, if it grows, you can separate them. And here, this inheritance example shows how this, uh, how the the sharing values, sharing the key, key values can work. So at the top, we define the contact and tags and test, which is common for for the tests. And now we have two tests. One is uh, for downloading; it takes three minutes to complete. Uh, but the recursive one, which have, has a different summary, it has a uh, it has to, it has to have some some extended extended uh, extended time. So that's the inheritance part. And now just a couple of words for the elasticity. This is the feature because you can define this virtual hierarchy. It means that you can have everything in a single file. But once the project grows and you see, oh, it's too long, uh, there's not enough, it's hard to maintain, you just separate um, the one file into separate uh, in multiple files or even multiple directories and the, the hierarchy still works. And um, you don't have to change anything like the metadata are, are the same, but you can move the files freely as you need. So. Uh, you can read maybe some more if you're interested in this concept uh, at the, the FMA documentation. And um, now um, to finish the, the theory part, and the metadata levels. Uh, so the metadata specification defi defines a, a couple of levels because we found it it's it's important uh, to give each use case uh, a separate level to to prevent duplication and uh, allow tests sharing and, and such stuff. So I will uh, mention the level one are the core attributes which are common, like summary description order, which are, this is like common common ground. Level one, uh, metadata, we call those uh, metadata which are related to individual tests. So for example, test script, its path, its duration, its summary tags, and, and that stuff. Level two, we call uh, those metadata which are related to plans. This is like uh, the, the set of steps, which is describing how to prepare the environment, how to provision it, how to how to prepare the packages, and how to execute as uh, for for a given artifact. And uh, recently, also added level three, which is used for stories. And this is an um, uh, like advanced stuff. If you 
I find yourself sometimes lost. Or like, what what are all the features you would like to implement, and what which what is already covered by tests and implementation and documentation? So stories could be used for that. Uh, a brief example of level one. So this is example test. Here you see key values, summary, description, path to the test, the test script, tier one used for for like like picking and filtering tests, tagging uh, some tags, uh, it should be singular, uh, duration, maximum time, so that you don't waste resources when the when the test is stuck and and the required packages. Similarly. Um, here is an example plan. So this is level two, uh, the configuration of the steps. You can provide summary uh, as for all other uh, objects. You can specify the provision. So here we have virtual. We have specified the amount of memory because it's needed. And then the prepare step. Here you see there uh, an example that you, you can have multiple, uh, multiple configs in a single step. So here we do, um, we install a package packages, HTTPD and curl. And then uh, we do a shell preparation um, and we call system uh, control uh, start HTTPD. And then we do some very simple smoke tests, um, just storing the file and uh, checking it with the curl. So that's about the theory. And let's get back to the, uh, to the examples before I give a word to Mero. So um, the TMT plans, uh, subcommand is used for maintaining a plans. So that, that means level two metadata. So uh, if I if I'm in the so let's let's clear it. If I'm in the uh, sorry <laughs> uh, TMT plans. If I'm in the TMT repo, you would see so uh, there are t uh, twenty two plans. TMT plans uh, list. You can <clears throat> you can list them. Uh, you can filter by regular expression, for example, I don't know, smoked, smoke test or unit. <clears throat> um, you see, uh, uh, we have plenty, plenty plans here because we try all the combinations uh, in different environments. So the tests are run uh, in a different environment thanks to the FMA hierarchy features and symlinks. Uh, but this is a little bit too advanced for, for a quick introduction. And TMT plans show, TMT plan show uh, gives you some more info. So let's say for the plans basic, uh, uh, what, what what is there? What is there in, the, in it? So this is testing basic command line features. Uh, there's some description, uh, there is some filter. So it, it filters available tests and picks only tier one and tier two tests. And it's executed because these are big clip tests, so it's executed as a big clip. A TMT plan show I've just shown, and uh, to get some more examples or inspiration, you can have a look at the, or we can have a look at the plans here uh, in the TMT repo. So that's the basic one, the core one. It it chooses it chooses the tier zero, tier zero, tier zero tests. So for some quickly, uh, quickly, uh, quick checks. Here is uh, an extra example to show that it's also possible to uh, list the tests directly in the plan. So here you see there is one test, there is a second test, it's it's included in the in the discover phase. So if you're not interested into like uh, creating many files, everything can be in one file. Uh, this is running PO3 tests, which need virtualization. So they are slow. Uh, here you see the smoke, which is the super, super easy thing, TMT minus minus help and nothing else and description and summary. And we also run unit tests and unit tests, they need to install some additional packages. So here's some prepare, uh, which, which shows how, how that could be done. And you, uh, you've spotted definitely this, this main, which is something like index Hitomula. It's, it's, uh, like the, the parent, uh, the parent, uh, metadata path from which uh, all other plans inherit. So here uh, it's possible I change the provision at one place and all the plans would pick it, they would inherit it. Or I can say, let's uh, let's just install all the freshly built packages from uh, from from the RPMs directory and all the all the plans would pick it. So that's, that's a very nice feature to have this inheritance here. Um, okay, so now I will be uh, quickly finishing going through the last slides because the time is flying fast. So uh, create. 
If uh, we've already seen the TMT init can be used to quickly uh, get you started. But if you want to <clears throat> start uh, with some more complex uh, examples, you can use TMT plan create. So, uh, for example, I can I can I can show this full. So I, I would go to, to the mini example which we had and do TMT plan create a minus template full, and it could be plans full or whatever. So this uh, this will create uh, an example with the full config, and here you see it's not that just those two lines, but you have an example for discover step which is fetching tests from a different repository. And it uh, uses uh, Ansible to prepare the uh, prepare the box. So in this way, you can quickly. Uh, uh, you don't have to uh, learn the syntax. You can create, use the template, and uh, quickly quickly start. If you are not sure about the syntax, uh, check the help message. So for example, tmt run prepare minus minus how install minus minus help, and you would you would see you would see what uh, what the config uh, which config can be can be used. I would maybe just add that the how is very important. So the empty run prepare help can give you all mm -hmm. the preparation steps. And if you uh, put how there, it gives you additional context to the help. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, thanks, Miro. Uh, the TMT test uh, is a brother of TMT plan. It can give you an overview of available tests in the same way you can list the tests you can filter them for example i want to see only for uh, tier one tier one tests so for example tmt test list uh would would give you like all the all the tests which are available but you can you can say filter only tier one or tier zero and you would you would get only those uh, those tests in the same way you can you can of course uh, do TMT test show so you could see, you could see like the, the information about the tier zero tests uh, TMT test land uh, so far very very uh, very stupid uh, but uh, the intention is that you would uh, we would like to check the metadata against the specification and make sure that the test how they are defined they are okay so you can imagine this is something as an rpm rpm uh, lint uh creating tests uh in the same way as plan tmt test create uh we have two templates so far a simple shell test or big clip test so uh, let's see i go back tmt test create uh <clears throat> let's see there's some small test and i would select a big clip for that so let's see what was there. There's a directory which contains a uh, simple metadata, level one metadata, and a simple skeleton for the big data. So now you can start. And this is already working, so, so you can you can just run it and adjust as you as you need. Uh, because uh, one of the motivations for the TMT was to uh, get us free from, from the test case management system. Uh, systems and have everything in it. We have also TMT test import and export subcommands, which are used for importing metadata from the old format, from bigger make file and purpose, and also from the from the Nitre test case management system. So just to give you an idea how this would work, uh, TMT test uh, import. Uh, <clears throat> Yeah, yeah. So I, I changed the directory where there is a there is a make file and purpose. So let's see uh, how it looked before. So make file and purpose before that that was the old way how how the uh, metadata was was stored and the purpose extra file. And then this uh, this test case this test case would be stored in a test case management system. I would I would uh, show you in a while. Uh, and now the result is here. Everything in one file, uh, nicely, uh, nicely put in a, in a YAML format. Just best case in TCM is how it could look like. Okay, so there will be about import and export. And uh, finally, very very briefly, a TMT story. As I mentioned, the level three metadata can be used for storing like the features or requirements for your project and you can uh, uh, so it happened to us very uh, very often that we had a, yeah, and the TMT could do this and that and that but there was not enough time to implement it so we just put together the story and store it so uh, if I if you want to uh, investigate you can do TMT story uh, which gives you like the overview of the stories which are uh, available TMT story list or show 
let's say some command line interface to is related to the testing. So you can uh, you can see that we have these these stories which are relevant to uh, to the test command uh, to the test command on the command line. But what's interesting here, you can see the coverage. So TM, for example, TMT story, uh, but instead of show, I would do coverage. Uh, CLI test, and you would see. Uh, so these are the stories which are covered by code. These are the stories which are covered by test, and these are the stories which are covered by documentation already. So in this way, you can you can easily uh, you can easily have an overview of the status of your of your project. And that's it from me for now. And giving word to Miro. Uh, Miro? Can you see my screen? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I guess you can stop sharing. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So uh, I'm going to speak a little bit about the uh, about the <laughs> testing uh, infrastructure. So last year we have enabled uh, packet integration. Uh, that means that uh, if you are using packet. Uh, Packet is a tool that uh, try, is trying to automate the integration from upstream, upstream open source projects into federal operating system. So if you are using a Packet, you are already uh, also running uh, partially uh, some testing. So Packet uh, is able to run these uh, tests that uh, you can define in this TMT format uh, indirectly in your disk git. And when you uh, when the when Packet builds, uh, basically the uh, the copper builds from that PR that you submit to it, uh, it will, <clears throat> uh, the, the testing farm, one of the services that we have, uh, will run automatically these FMF tests on it. One thing that we added from the last year is that each copper build that you build via packet is also automatically tested at least for installation. So even if you don't onboard any tests uh, in the way that Peter described, uh, then uh, the testing will be still executed. Right? And then those uh, results are available uh, uh, next to the PR checks. Uh, we have all everything documented here on this uh, on the packet documentation page, where you have uh, basically step by step step by step instructions how to uh, be onboard your the testing and test your uh, PRs. I didn't say that this uh, testing is only available currently on uh, for GitHub GitHub itself because the Packet currently integrates only with uh, GitHub. Yeah. And then the test results uh, display as you as usual for GitHub. So I think in the end of this slide here. So th this is how it looks like in the GitHub interface, where you have the test results available from the TMT execution, and there is some simple console log uh, available. So that is for the packet integration. Uh, I have to say, after a year of uh, of integrate of, of being available this testing uh, there are quite some components already using it packet uh, lately released this dashboard which has uh, this type of test runs where basically we can see that there is quite a lot of testing going on here mostly our packages but there are a lot of others on board it so if you have some github project uh, feel free to look at uh, this integration okay So one thing that we didn't accomplish to deliver for this year's flock or nest uh, is, is the Fedora CI integration. Unfortunately, we're, we wanted uh, to have in Fedora CI the possibility that you place uh, you place the tests uh, directly uh, directly in uh, this Git and you run uh, the tests from the this Git repository. So that is uh, ongoing and we have slipped a month. So at the end of this month, there should be an early access to that integration. It means that Fedora CI, uh, basically, when you build uh, a new body update, it will be firstly enabled for Rawhide. Then, if in this Git there will be some tests available, uh, the Fedora CI will call this service that we will have and that will execute the tests. First, install the packages from that build, execute the test, and report it, uh, report it as automated checks uh, directly in the body interface. So uh, this. A way of running tests uh, will be used also for the generic test, which is already there for some small portion of the packages. It looks like this. So this is where 
this test will appear in the body interface. Uh, currently, these are only static analysis checks or the generic checks that are being run there. But here, we're, once this is ready and you have tests, yeah, they will appear here as one as an additional test. Um, yep. So that is for the integration part. Um, uh, the system that we will be using uh, to integrate this, we call testing form. It's basically a testing system as a service that we are preparing uh, inside Red Hat, and uh, it will be shared across RHEL CI, Fedora CI, and Packet. Possibly others in the future, we have a public API where basically everything testing will go through. Um, that's just uh, in short, uh, we'll be supporting generic package level tests in TMT format. So that is something that Fedora CI will be able to easily add in this in this test format. Then will be uh, functional tests that will run against a container or a VM uh, that will be all hosted on a a Fedora's AVS infrastructure. And we will support also running the functional test in the standard test interface, what is the currently uh, the current format of the of the Fedora CI. Uh, functional tests that I said. So we welcome any feedback and contributions. Here are some links that you can follow. Uh, there is a very good documentation. I encourage everybody to look at that. It helps a lot. I don't know what I'm, but I'm sharing this, sorry. <laughs> and uh, there is a, a Fedora quick start guide, which uh, we will be using uh, to, on the tomorrow's workshop. So the, the quick start guide will guide you basically through the main process of getting the tool and then the packing integration those that I mentioned. Uh, later on, the Fedora quick start guide will also include the information how to onboard the tests to Fedora CI when that is ready. If you have any feedback, we have a we have an issue tracker on GitHub and we have also a TMT channel of free notes. So please join. Peter, I'm giving you back the words. Uh, okay, so that would be uh, that would be it from from the content, uh, and um, now so a space for questions. Uh, is there anything you would like to ask, comment, any feedback? I'm not sure how it works with the audio. Also, also not sure. I think somebody has to ask for access, so we can enable him. So I know. If you have any question, feel free to type it. Uh, we are here still a few minutes. Yeah, I have to say it's a very interesting experience with the virtual event. Actually, my first <laughs> this year. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So how, how does everybody like it? <laughs> Yeah, so seems everybody's happy on the IRC. I try to uh, IRC on the chat. I try to answer all questions. Cool. Cool. Okay, so if there are no questions, we can call it done. Mm -hmm. Okay, so thanks, uh, thanks all to uh, for for attending the session.